Are you ready to show everybody how to make the cookies? Yeah. Show them your cookie. Kids love it. Adults love it. They don't know that they're eating something good for them. Great combination. Dr. Rodman, coming live from my kitchen, Mickey Pajamas. Don't judge me. <laughs> Dark chocolate, this is 90% cocoa. Lint chocolate, me and Jack like to break it up into big chunks here so when you get it, you're real happy about it when you get that bite. Next we have a little stevia. This is up to you how much you want to put in. I like it just for a little extra sweetness. We have our whey protein here from Swole. Swole makes a great whey protein. Have two bananas, preferably old, a little bit sweeter. Cut up pretty thin. And we have our walnuts, pecans, almonds. Really good brain food there. Cheers. Here's our dark chocolate almond butter. Cheers. Really a key ingredient. This is the actual one that we got here. You can get this at Whole Foods, Publix, Walmart. And then you sneak in some good nutrition because you can't taste it. Anytime you can sneak in something good nutrition, can't taste it, go ahead and do it. Wheat germ right here really good for you. Flax seed, really good. And we also have cinnamon, a little extra flavor, really good. Right here we have six eggs from Eglin's Best. And uh, those are the ingredients right here. And uh, we'll be right back. We're going to show you how it's done. Pour the mix into a cupcake or cake tray and place in the oven at 325 degrees for 18 to 22 minutes. And here you're looking at the end product of Dr. Robin's Protein Brownie Bites. They're delicious, nutritious, don't cost as much as other protein bars. All natural, even good for people on the paleo diet. Go ahead and enjoy. <sighs> Yummy!